shake your booties for black girl nerds. Tell me a little bit more about KJ and how she really navigates being a black woman right. and a prosecutor in such a racially charged case. Right. Um, I think she navigates it with difficulty, as you would expect. It's having all of those things, being an African-American woman who's come through academia and who works at the prosecutor's office mm -hmm. um, and you know lives in America. All of those things add to a very complicated life. And I, I think she stumbles through it sort of the best way she knows how and makes good choices and makes poor choices, but essentially tries to do right. Right. And so I, I guess for me, why now? You know, like why is it so important to tell KJ's story mm -hmm. and just the story in general mm -hmm. during such kind of a, a racially charged time right. here in, in America as well? Because I think if the momentum is there to tell these stories um, and look at these lives, then we should because these are the everyday realities that a lot of people, and especially African-American people, are living at the moment. And whether or not we choose to portray them in our cultural output, it doesn't change that fact. And I hope that it gives some agency to people who feel that these are their lives and that, that people are paying attention. And I also hope that it helps some other people who don't understand or who have little contact with uh, certain types of people to understand the actual experiences of people that are basically their neighbors, you know, whether it's in the same you know, street or the same city or the same country. It's understanding people and having empathy for what they go through and trying to understand the choices they make is one of the only things that will heal this country, I think. Yeah, I think that's very true. And so with KJ in particular, mm -hmm. how do you think that this one case kind of shapes who she becomes, you know, like on yeah. her journey. I mean, obviously, like she is is new to the prosecutor's office, mm -hmm. as you said, and um, she has a background in academia, which means she obviously is processing a lot at all times, right. and right. she's internalizing a lot. Yeah. So, how do you think that she grows and yeah. learns kind of a little bit more just based on this case alone? I think the severity of it and the the facts of the what happens and the people involved forces her to grow up really and mm. forces her to make certain choices because it would be easy or easier to run away and it, at times she does try and run away and isn't able to and I think when you're faced with something that has so much gravity to it and that involves monumentous decisions for both yourself and other people and you have to make a choice that you you have to grow up very quickly and you have to try and understand people because you have to understand that the result of your action could be something very negative for another person. That's very, very true. Okay, so just on a little bit of a lighter tone, okay. obviously, because the show is so heavy. Um, you know, we at Black Girl Nerds, we geek out about a lot of different things. So mm -hmm. what's something that you geek out about just in your personal life or something that you're excited about in the, the next coming months? Um, so it would either be, I watch a lot of football, so okay. soccer, yeah. um, and I bake a lot of cakes. So those oh. tend to be the two things that I spend a lot of time like online reading about or, or watching <laughs> football games. Um, and I support Manchester United, who are doing mm -hmm. not as well as I like, but very well in the <laughs> Premier League. So I'm having fun watching them at the moment. Um, and my grandma has just come to the UK from Ghana, um, and she's diabetic. So I enjoy like lo finding lots of different like recipes and cakes mm. that she can eat, and making those. Yeah. Yeah, and making sure that she's okay. Yeah. Okay. Last question um, about the show. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite episode thus far and oh, why? Oh, that's so tough. I would say the first episode. I think mm. we've put so much into it to try and set up the scenario, introduce the characters, and set up this world in which that they operate, which is the world that we actually live in. Um, and I think, we, I think we do a really good job of telling that story and beginning to tell all of those stories. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.